News. One child and one adult were killed. 32 pa patients transported to the hospital after a crash involving a Hayes CISD school bus in southern Bastrop County this afternoon. The bus carrying Tom Green Elementary School pre-kindergarten students. They were headed back from a field trip to the Bastrop County Zoo. This is a live look at the scene. You see the school bus in the middle of your screen. First responders from Travis County, Hayes County, Bastrop County, along with DPS responding to the scene of that crash around two o'clock this afternoon. Now that crash happened at 217 and on State Highway 21 near Cal Caldwell Road in Bastrop County. They are still asking people to please avoid that area as much as possible. Highway 21 has been closed. You can see on the map that's a live look at traffic. Highway 21 closed in both directions uh, just east of Highway 130. Again, that's near Caldwell Road and you can see the backup from that crash about two miles uh, from 130 to where the crash happened on uh, State Highway 21. KVU has two crews at the scene this afternoon. Matt Fernandez is waiting on a press conference, which we expect uh, within the hour. Also uh, with first responders from the scene there. Ford Sanders is there at the scene as well. Ford, uh, we'll get to you first. Tell us what you've seen this afternoon since you arrived there. Yeah, Quita Brian, it's just been ambulances and first responders coming in and out of State Highway 21. I think it's important I step out really quick and you can see right there that school bus wedged off the road here at State Highway 21. It has not moved since we got here, but like I said, I've seen tow trucks, we've seen EMS, we've seen ambulances going in and out of State Highway 21 trying to get these victims. I think we said some 32 plus, of course, being transported out of here. Now, multiple agencies responding. I want to point something out. Bastrop ISD police also assisting, so you can tell just how how many people are really here responding to this scene right now? Like we said, some 32 patients already being transferred back to hospitals. We do know an adult and a child are confirmed dead. I did actually get to speak with the man, Eric um, Anaya, who lives directly next to where that crash happened. I mean, he's literally just behind the guardrails is where his house is. He spoke with his father and his wife in the area. They actually helped assist when this first happened. There's something that we just uh, it just comes to habit to us uh, wanting to help out other people and situations like this. I mean, we don't like to see somebody lose their life, especially a child. Yeah. So um, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to work your emotions and work your way through things that's happening around you within seconds. Yeah. But uh, it's just a good thing that that my family was there to help out. I want to note something really important that Eric and I actually talked about. You know, like I said, he lives right next to where this major collision happened. He said State Highway 21 is no joke. People go extremely fast on this road. And he told me this is not the first time we've dealt with this. I asked if he's seen other collisions. He said, yeah, multiple cars at different times. So this is something that they've dealt with before. He says, like you heard in that bite right there, he's just happy his father and his wife are there to help. As you see now, you've got multiple agencies here responding. We're gonna to work to find more information. There is a presser gonna come up soon, but for now, I'm gonna to toss it back to you all in the studio. And our hearts go out to all of the victims out there tonight. Ford, thank you so much. We do want to tell you a little bit more about who was involved in the crash. A group of pre-K students, again, from Tom Green Elementary School. That's in Hayes CISD. 44 students were on that bus. 11 adults were on the bus as well. They were, again, returning uh, from a field trip this afternoon. This is video from Del Seton, one of the many hospitals these patients have been transported to, some via life flight some via ground transportation with ambulances from multiple jurisdictions uh, there helping out. This again outside the hospital. Uh, we do know four patients were transported via life flight uh, this afternoon. Travis County, of course, assisting with that. And uh, that is what we know at this time. 32 people transported to the hospital from the bus crash in Bastrop County. That's right. And again, just if you're joining us right now, we are covering this bus crash. A school bus was involved in a collision with an 18-wheeler at about 217 this afternoon off State Highway 21 out in Bastrop County. The bus was carrying pre-K students from Tom Green Elementary. The students that were on that bus, many were injured, some not seriously. They are now being reunited with their parents this evening. Again, 44 students, 44 pre-kindergarten students, and 11 adults were on that bus.